following successful screenings in New York, Cyprus and Greece. Tonight's screening marks a significant milestone in the documentary's journey. It is a moment of pride, not only for the filmmakers, but for all of us who believe in the power of storytelling to inspire change. That's it, that women just standing up. It's like, we want to be united. We want to come together. We could see the different moods of the ladies, the pain and the... At some stage, I thought some of them were actually crying, but I couldn't see any tears. I could only hear it in their voices. This was quite emotional for us, as we're there sitting there watching with my family and my younger daughters, and they were learning stories that they haven't heard before. So yeah, we found it um, just really great family watch. Ordinary women doing extraordinary things in ordinary ways. Absolutely amazing. The Women Walk Home movements were very impressive to me because they were not just challenging the lack of progress or achievements of any lasting peace, they were challenging militarism. There's quite a lot of people who are still scarred by what happened. It's very hard for people to detach and move on from that. But at the same time, it was quite hopeful. You're watching a lot of people who live, breathe, Cypriot Greek culture, but are looking, you know, hoping for a resolution, hoping for a compromise of some sort. I'm really happy with how the documentary's been received. All the countries we've been to, what a great UK premiere. Very powerful, yeah. Very powerful, very moving, emotional. Very emotional. Well, the Queens of Cyprus is actually a moving tribute to the uh, untold contributions of the Cypriot women in the collective memory of Cyprus. I uh, do believe uh, that Cyprus is one. I would love one day to be able to go to each, uh, whatever we are in Cyprus. It's an inheritance that we don't want to let it go. None of that would have happened without Panikos' ability to work with people, engage with people, and get them to tell their stories. So what's a queen of Cyprus? A queen for me is someone, like I said, that doesn't have privilege, that doesn't have power, that has that ability to inspire, to motivate. A woman that's resilient, that stands her ground, and her home is her home and it would never change. Why don't we just walk home?